Why don't owls date in the rain? Because it's too wet to woo. Welcome, dear viewers, to a world where the night is alive with the hoots and screeches of our fine feathered friends. Today, we're diving beak first into the fascinating world of owls. We'll explore their quirks, their captivating characteristics, and yes, we'll even indulge in some owl standing puns. So brace yourself for a flurry of feathers and fun. If you're ready to have a hoot, let's fly right in. Did you know that owls have tubular eyes? They don't see the world as we do, they see it in tubes. Imagine watching this video through a couple of toilet rolls. Now, let's dive into the fascinating biology of these birds. Owls have fixed eyes, meaning they can't roll their eyes like we can when someone tells a bad joke. Instead, they turn their heads almost all the way around to get a good look around. Talk about a literal head turner. And their vision is something else entirely. It's like looking at the world through a pair of binoculars. Everything is super zoomed in. This means they can spot a mouse from a mile away, but they might struggle to spot a tree right in front of them. It's like they've got their own built-in zoom function. Imagine the owls struggle every morning trying to find their glasses. Who moved them this time? But alas, they don't need glasses. Their vision is already a spectacle. So next time you feel like you're being watched in the forest, you might just be in an owl's tube vision. Owls are the ultimate party poopers. They can swoop down on a mouse party without making a sound. Talk about being a buzzkill. Now, if you're wondering how they manage to be such party crashers, let's talk about their unique feather structure. Their feathers are not just for show, they are designed for stealth. The leading edge of an owl's flight feather is serrated like a bread knife, allowing air to pass over the wings quietly. Imagine having this skill at a surprise party. You could literally fly in, grab a piece of cake, and fly out without anyone noticing. Or better yet, think of those midnight snack cravings. You could sneak into the kitchen, rustle up a sandwich and be back in bed without waking up a soul. But let's not forget, while this is all fun and games for us, for a little mouse, it's a matter of life and, well, dinner. So remember, if you can't hear them coming, you're probably the main course. You think you're a night owl? You've got nothing on actual owls, they're the original all-nighters. Now, imagine being an owl, the epitome of nocturnal life. The sun sets, and while most of the animal kingdom is tucking in for a good night's sleep, you're just getting started. You've got a whole night of hunting, hooting and flying to do. And let's be honest here, these feathered friends would make terrible morning people. Picture an owl with a cup of coffee, squinting at the rising sun, grumbling. Who thought this was a good idea? Yeah, that's a hoot. And alarm clocks, forget about it. You'd have better luck trying to convince a cat to take a bath. You know that dreadful sound, the one that rips you from your peaceful slumber. To an owl, that's like a dinner bell. It's like, alarm clock? Oh, you mean my start the night party horn. Let's face it, owls are the ultimate party animals, or should we say party birds. They've got the nightlife down to a science. They don't need fancy lights or loud music. All they need is a moonlit sky and the promise of a good hunt. So if you're feeling sleepy, just remember, somewhere out there, an owl is just starting its day. All right, we've had a hoot, but all good things must come to an end. We've swooped through some owl standing facts today, from the silent but deadly hunting techniques to the nocturnal habits of these fascinating feathered friends. We've seen how they're not just wise old birds, but truly captivating creatures that rule the night skies. Let's not forget, We've also had our fair share of puns. I mean, who wouldn't love a good owl pun? It's been a total hoot. If you've got any owl puns up your sleeve, feel free to share them in the comments. We'd love to hear them. As we wrap up, I want to thank you for joining me on this whimsical journey into the world of owls. It's been a real hoot, and I trust you've had a wise old time. And remember, don't give a hoot about what others think. Be wise, be like an owl. Until next time, I'll be seeing you.